everyone and welcome back to another Cactus Minute. In today's episode we are looking at Echinocereus viridiflorus divisii. Quite a mouthful, um, but uh, worth it because it's an incredible plant. Uh, so this guy here, as you can clearly see, has a nice green body uh, and then coloured spines as well from white through to red and pinks. Uh, and it's generally the newer spines that are the brightest and they fade out as they age. My guy's probably not the best example as he's had a very, very hard life. Um, he was attacked very, very severely by mealybug and the original body, which is that sort of dark shape in the centre there, um, was pretty much a goner and then he's just thrown out all these pups. So once these get a little larger, I'll remove them. Now in terms of the difficulty level for this particular guy, aside from my personal experience with uh, having it attacked by mealybug, they are relatively easy to care for, although they do need to be kept on the drier side as you can rot Echinocereus. So I'd be looking um, in terms of soil mix for around an 80-20 mix. Uh, that would probably serve it quite well and that is 80% gravel to 20% organic matter. The flowers are very, very interesting. As you can see, they're that beautiful sort of uh, yellow honey sort of color with uh, nice stripes of sort of like a red through it. Um, and if we pan up, you'll just uh, see inside there that they've got that nice green, um, I'm pretty sure it's called a stamen, the center part anyways. Um, so very, very nice flowers. Now, something quite unique, and I don't know whether it's common for this particular cactus or whether I've just got lucky, but the flowers actually smell like roses, like a classic English rose. It is intoxicatingly nice uh, and very, very unusual amongst cacti for them to have scented flowers. They generally uh, capture the pollinator's attention purely by visual and generally not by scent. But nonetheless, uh, absolutely beautiful plant. In terms of the difficulty level, I'm going to put it around a 5 to a 6, um, just being that it does need to be kept on the drier side and they can rot. Uh, now, sun levels or light levels, this guy needs brightness. He needs a lot of sun. So make sure you give him sun, keep, him, keep light on the water, and I think you'll have a good time uh, and uh, very rewarding time growing uh, this cactus. So again, it's Echinocereus viridiflorus divisii. Um, the label's fallen off, but uh, I do remember this one. But uh, there we go. And in terms of the actual overall size, I'm not entirely certain. Um, I think you'll probably get a little bit larger than this, and I imagine um, it'll be many years before he gets uh, much bigger than that thereafter. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy gardening. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.